some shaky ball control by the Bruins that time. Two players going for the same ball. They didn't call it who was going to take it. What happened was the ball ended up coming off the court. And uh, Van Orden really didn't get a chance to set the ball well, so she had to tip it over on two. Hewitt getting ready to serve for Hawaii. 15 serving 11. Gets it in McGraw in the air. Van Orden on a step out move. She goes to Camp. Camp hits it and gets the block. Went off one of the blockers in the back row. I think it went off of Weber. So it's 15 to 12. UCLA comes back to a three point deficit and serving will be McGraw. McGraw gets it in. Waiting for it is Mafua outside to Weber and that's blocked. It goes out. So Weber with the kill. Raver with five kills already. Sixteen to twelve. Serving is Satelli. That goes off Reeves, and then hitting the ball is Camp off a waiver point for UCLA. Sixteen, thirteen. Hawaii leading. Then Orton will serve. Kidder comes in, replacing Smith. In the front row for UCLA. Serving is Van Orden. Dai Hui in the air. Mafua short, very short set to Hartung. And Hartung is able with a very short swing to get the point. 17-13. Hawaii leading by four. Maeda will go back to your serve for Hawaii. Hartung is just quick. She's quick to the outside. She's got the quick arm swing. Maeda serving. A ball dug up by Reeves, Van Orden, and then put back by Danielson. UCLA controlling. The ball is hit by Kidder. He gets it down in front of Hartung. Kidder sneaky there. Looked like she was just going to bump the ball over, maybe not even attack at all. Last second, she goes up and attack. A good bump by Camp. The last second, Kidder goes up and takes a swing and gets a kill. Guerra serving some confusion in the back row for Hawaii. Danielson is blocked. Hawaii blocks it back. Danielson serves. That's in the air by Guerra. Then Orden and McGraw hits it through the Hawaii defense and hits it out. 18-14, Hawaii. McGraw, I think, got a pretty good set that time. Had an open court. Just could not convert. Big difference between 18-14 and 17-15 had she converted. Serving is Ka'ai Hui. Guerra in the air. Back set goes to Reeves. Danielson was there, but the block went out. Kelly Reeves, as you said, second generation Bruin. Mom, Jeannie Beaupre Reeves, former Olympian in the crowd with her husband, Mike. Serving is Reeves, Ka'ai Hui, Mafua, and Hewitt. Hewitt able to Wiggled the ball down in front of uh, the double block right in the middle. Yeah, Dave shows you got plenty of blocking out of Hewitt last year. What he wanted to see is more offense like that. He'd love to see her hit, you know, between three and four hundred at least on the year if possible. Danny Mafua serving, dug up by Reeves, Van Orden, and Sage hits it wide. So UCLA, some trouble there getting things going. Mike Seeley doesn't really like what he sees. He calls a timeout. 20 to 15, Hawaii leads in the second set. Hawaii leading 20 to 15. We're in the second set or the second game of this match. Hawaii winning the first game 25 to 22. Chantile's mom in the stands? Yes, that's uh, the famous, the famous when she was a player, Leanne Pastana. He married the famous Alva Satelli. Yes, and they now have famous children. <laughs> 20 to 15, serving will be Mafua. Mafua taps it across. Gara goes to Van Orden. The ball is pushed over by McGraw. That's the second time that she has done that. That little floater over the double block. And it is 20 to 16. Hawaii with a four point cushion in the second set. Serving will be Kidder for UCLA. Kidder 
This match between these two teams at this time of the year, right at the beginning, has become a real tradition. Serving is Kidder in the air. Follows it over by Danielson. Good dig by Kidder. There's McGraw. That's dug up by Kai Hui. Chased down by Mafua. The ball is hit by Satelli. That's in the air by Guerra. And that's at the net. The ball is over by Hewitt. Hewitt had one of those. Oops, I just found something at the net that I like. It showed up out of nowhere. Down at 6 4. She can uh, pretty much roam up there. Doesn't have to jump much. Just sort of roam and let those long arms of hers do the job. Weber now has come into the front row for Hawaii. Danielson serves it into the net. So she hits more than one service error in this match. 21 to 17. UCLA Sage will serve for UCLA. Dai Hui to Mafua. Weber. Weber took something off. That ball died in front of Sage. 22 to 17. Hawaii closing in on the second set. Serving is Hewitt. Hewitt serves it out. So it's 22 to 18. Hawaii leading into the game. Getting ready to come into the game is Aquino. Now she comes over and comes in for Van Orden. So Camp and Aquino. Good wall right in the middle. Serving is McGraw. Guy Hui, Mafua, step out, Hartung. Hartung again following the block. Mafua, ball is hit by Satelli. That's up by Smith, overpass, and that's hit there by Weber. And the ball goes off UCLA and then out 23 to 18. Weber just continues to rack up the kills after an inconsistent first couple of nights where she'd have a good game one, but not so good game two. She's now solid all the way through game two and hanging in there. Griffith serves. That's the first time that Griffith has missed in this tournament. Weber now with seven kills on the night, hitting 375. Only one error, so very, very steady play. Van Orden will serve for UCLA. Four point cushion for Hawaii, 23 to 19. Gets it across. Kai Hui, Mafua, step out. Hartung. And Hartung angles it back, hits the floor for the point. It is now Aloha Ball in the second game. Aloha ball for Hawaii, 24 to 19 over UCLA. And serving will be number 12, Emily Maeda. Maeda double dribbling the ball, now ready. Gets it in. In the air by Guerra, then Orta. Ball is put over that time by Reeves, still alive. UCLA coaches, UCLA coaches are up. That's what got my attention. The, the signal has been made for the end of the game. Dave Shoji's not saying anything. He's going to take his team to the other side of the court. I don't really know what happened here. So Mike Seeley appears to be satisfied. So Hawaii takes the set. 25 to 19, and now they are thinking sweep over UCLA. We'll try to find out just exactly what happened. Two games have been played in this match between Hawaii and UCLA. Two games that have had pretty much the same result in that Hawaii has taken the lead, held on to the lead, and then claimed uh, the set. At the end of the second set, there was controversy because uh, UCLA's Mike Seeley came off the bench and he's pointing down at the Hawaii end. And it was, uh, they were claiming that a pancake dig by uh, Kai Hui was not good. But the referee said it was good. And so it was good. And the replay showed it was good too. Yes. And that, that's, we had to explain that. That's what they were looking at and pointing at. And the, then 
the ruling was made, and that was the end of the second set. Just in case you're sitting at home and you wondered, <laughs> what happened? Well, the real story of, of, I think, of the first two games was not only Kamani Danielson's hitting, uh, you know, getting nine kills. We know she's going to do that. But Hawaii hitting 411 to UCLA's 217. That you don't expect to double up on a team as good as UCLA. And finally, the, the, the play of the freshman. Hartong and Weber, they each had seven kills in the first two games. That's like, that's like double their their productivity of the first two nights. So yeah. Dave showed he's got to be pleased with the play of his freshman. That, that's it. that Mike Seeley recruited, by the way. See, we could go into that, <laughs> and that would take you know that would take a long time. But Mike Seeley did recruit the Hawaii freshmen that are on the Hawaii team now, not to be con confused with the Mike Seeley, who is now the head coach of UCLA, right? <laughs> right. He recruited them when he was the associate coach at Correct. the University of, of Hawaii. You but it. you have to say that the play of the newcomers in three days has been remarkable. Yeah, it's really improved, and, and it's be, I think Dave showed you he's got to be pleased with how they're playing. Chantille Satelli, uh, even though you know, she's been playing for two years at St. Mary's, so she's a junior. She's a little bit different than being a rookie, but she's still got the nerves that everybody else has when you're a first-time player in this in the Stan Sheriff Center. And I think she's really um, been, been a tremendous addition to this Rainbow Wahine team. We'll take this break, and more will come from the Stanley. You see the scores in games one and two. Now let's take a look at some highlights in the first two sets. That's been a drive, about a five-pronged attack. Danielson, Mafua, Dan Danny also gets Weber involved. Then she gets Hewitt involved. And then she gets the Hartong involved. How do you stop the five-pronged attack of Hawaii? Here's Dyson McGraw, the senior for UCLA, she hammers one down the line and then a deep set to the back row drops in. And then Rachel Kidder is the other player that's been playing well. She's got six kills. She loves to hit from that left side or right side as we see the fans getting into it. The Bruins are hoping to get more participation from their offense because right now only hitting 200. Mike Seeley would love to see that be up around 300 to beat the Rainbow Wahine. You know, you spend so many hours in the Stan Sheriff Center with all of the teams here, and and all of a sudden this year they have they have come out with the the Gatling gun that shoots uh, T-shirts into the crowd, right? But they still have the helicopter, the, the uh, not the helicopter, but the blimp. I think the Gatling gun to try to shoot down the blimp and the prizes are in the blimp. What do you think? That's could a be great a idea. New, could be a whole new thing, you know? Okay, let's take a break before someone gets sick. How it works on doing a pancake dig is just like this. Elizabeth Kaihui just slides her hand under the ball like it's a spatula. She starts way back here and then comes way forward, covers a lot more territory when you can do that spatula pancake dig and really stretch your arm out, get it low to the floor, stick your hand. Under, watch her slide it right under and it pops straight up. There's Kai Hui, the all time leading digs per set leader in Rainbow Wahine history. 3.7 digs per set. For this tournament, she's averaging 3.9. And so far in these first two games, she's got 10 digs. Van Orden will serve for UCLA. That ball dug up by Maeda, chased down. And hit over uh, by Danielson. Danielson very much starting the third game the way she started the first game, hiding over in the corner and then blasting it home. You have no idea how hard that set was. Running backwards, back into the deep court, and then popping it right up where Danielson could hit it. Great play by Mafua. Kai Hui puts it into the net. We're tied at one. That gets the attention of Dave Shoji. And the serve for the Bruins for the 16th Guerra. Lady Guerra, the serve for UCLA. Dug up by Kai Hui Mafua. One hands it over and gets it off of uh, UCLA's Van Orden. Mafua now with her fourth kill. Two serving one here in the third. Mafua will start.